Hello friends, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel, Turquoise Dreaming. I hope you're having a good day. I'm here for a hashtag flea market journal challenge. That This is an open collab hosted by Maria uh, from Maria's Miscellany, Susan from Susan House Art, and myself. So uh, yeah, this is our June open collab. And if you uh, hadn't seen anything about this before and you're just seeing it now, it's not too late to join in. Just let one of us know and we let each other know and then we'll add you to our description boxes to the participants list and we have lots of participants so be sure to check them out if you need some ideas and want to see what or want to see what everyone's doing for this challenge uh so this week is uh crafty week number one last week was the announcement last friday so today is create a cover and it's all about uh you know uh, using things from, you, you know, that you've thrifted, a Dollar Tree, or maybe even things that have been given to you. So it's going to be really interesting to see what, how, you know, because, you know, this is just when you, especially when you buy things from, you know, a thrift store or, you, you know, they're given to you. It's just everybody has different things. So everyone's uh, journals are going to be completely different. So this is going to be really fun. So yeah, it's not too late. If you want to join in, just let us know. Be sure to link our channels and subscribe to our channels. Uh, let's see. Post your video or Instagram post. Yeah, link us in your, uh, all three of us, if you don't mind, in your YouTube uh, description box and or if you are Instagram, you can tag us. And uh, hmm, I think that is it. <laughs> so yeah, and use the hashtag Flea Market Journal Challenge. So uh, I've been working on this for a couple nights after work, uh, moving fabrics around. And I knew uh, from the beginning that I wanted to do, uh, you know, like a single signature fabric covered journal, but I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to, what fabrics I wanted to use or, you know, colors or, you know, things like that. So placement, all that kind of stuff. So when I was at the, thrift store this past week and I showed you the fabrics in my thrifty Thursday yesterday uh, I said well I have to use these I have to use these fabrics they're just too pretty I'm going to experiment with these so this is what I've got going on because <laughs> I've been playing around and taking things off putting things back on so you know it took some time actually uh, it took a couple hours one night and now it's taken another 30 minutes or so tonight or um, last night so uh, let's see what I did was start with a file folder base and cover it with the blue fabric that I showed you in my Thrifty Thursday. It was a fat quarter of this pretty turquoisey blue uh, fabric that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And so, that, you know, that's one of the, you know, we can use things from Dollar Tree. And by the way, your glue and your scissors, that doesn't count. You know, I, I, no one's asked, but I just, you know, I can picture someone asking all your tools and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't count. I'm just talking, we're just talking about the stuff that actually, you know, goes on the journal as far as, you know, fabrics and paper and uh, ephemera and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is what I've got going on. I've changed it around a few times, and I think I'm going with this. So after I cover it with, with the fabric, it's these are not glued down, these pieces. See, there's that blue fabric. And then if you saw the pillow cover that I used, that is on the other side. I did already glue that down. It's really neat. It's kind of like, it might be chenille. Um, I mean, I know what chenille is, and I've had a chenille bed, bed spread before. So I don't know if this is considered chenille, but that's it's soft like that, and it feels like that. So And you've got all these pretty colors that go with everything out here <laughs> so uh, I think what I'm going to do is um, I've got a few more pieces over here that I'm going to put this is the front right here and this is the back and I want to do both sides to be pretty this is that little uh, chair scarf I showed you in my thrifty Thursday I'm going to place these right over here I've got fabrics around here too if I need something else or if I want to try to experiment and add something else so I've already put this piece of fabric here on the spine too there's little bits of pieces of threads here. So I think what I'm going to do, um, I I thought I figured it would be a little bit hard to do on video. So that's why I'm kind of like trying to figure out how I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. But um, I think, I don't think I need to sew this down right now. So I had this here. 
I think I need to sew this down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna glue, I mean, yeah, I could glue first and then sew. This is two layers of fabric. Oh, let me see this here. <laughs> Maybe I can get this apart so I don't waste this underneath. But no, I think that needs to stay together. That definitely needs to stay together. Okay, yeah, I gotta figure this out. So I can put a little glue on here so I can, so it doesn't move while I, I think that's where, where I will start. I'll put a little, glue, a little glue on here so it doesn't move around while I'm sewing. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine and and uh, glue, I mean, sew all this down. But let me just get some glue on here so we can glue it down first so it will not move around. So if you saw my Thrifty Thursday yesterday, if you didn't, just go back one video and you can see the whole pieces of fabrics where I cut these pieces from. But all of these pieces that I have right here, <laughs> I brought home my, and I didn't need to buy anything, you know, for this project. I didn't intend to, but then I just happened to find all those fabrics yesterday and I knew I didn't have anything like that. So then I picked them up and I thought, well, these would be the perfect thing. because I already knew I wanted to use fabric pieces. I just didn't know what fabric pieces. I hadn't gone through my fabric and picked out any pieces yet. So... Yeah, it was just a mat, just kind of a coincidence, coincidence that I brought these home. So I'm going to have this covering the spine fabric on the edge here, like kind of like trim, but it's not really trim. It's another piece of fabric, but this actually was a trim. This piece right here was a piece of trim on the one of the dresses that I showed you uh, yesterday in my Thrifty Thursday. So, yeah, let me see here. Flatten this out. This has little. This has a little stitching down the middle here, and it has little sequins, different colored sequins all over this light blue or pretty blue. Another kind of shade of turquoisey kind of blue uh, there. So that's why I put that fabric on the other side. It kind of has all of these colors that's in here. I mean, there's all kind of little colors in these sequins. That looks like orange and there's a light green a purple a pink so and that fabric on the other side has all those colors too the same colors okay okay I just want this to stay in place while when I go to sew it so I just want to use this glue as a you know just to hold it in place until I get it sewn down I've got black, I just put black thread in my sewing machine. Okay, there's that piece. Now, let me get this one down. See this, this is the front here. And, let's see, I think I meant to put this under here. So let me lift this up before it dries. Yeah, let me lift this up before it dries. Okay, yeah, I did mean, I meant this to go over the top because it's a nice, it has a nice kind of like hem on this uh, middle piece here so yeah i should have put this under here hold on it's not dry yet we're we're okay <laughs> okay let me peel that back up there and put this under here okay so that will be under there i want it straight on this edge here so let me see if i can get it straight on the edge and i want it right up to the top here i don't want any I mean, I picked this blue color out for the background in case any did show. Um, it would, you know, just be a color that went with everything and be pretty. So, uh, okay, so there. We can put that back over there. All right. Yeah, and I actually got this. Let's see, which one did I get first? Yeah, I got the, uh, um, I think the one night one day i went to dollar tree and got that blue fabric here this blue fabric the fat quarter and then the next day like i didn't know i was using all these fabrics that would kind of go with that and then the next day i found all these fabrics and they just by coincidence went with that you know really well with that blue fat quarter that i picked up at dollar tree okay I'm I'm not I'm not trying to get it perfect, but I just trying to get everything 
lined up here with the edges and let me just cut this little piece off here okay here we go <laughs> that was sticking out and there's another piece sticking out here that's bugging me right here let me just cut that off i feel like it's shouldn't be there okay now i'm happy <laughs> that looks better all right so now the back so next i want this piece here and this is that pretty trim that came off of that one like scarf that looked like maybe you hang it over to ch over a chair or something so i'm going to go ahead and put a little fabric tech my fabric tech's actually getting down not to the very bottom it's got a lot to go but you know it's it's down pretty far so it has to come up pretty far to uh, start flowing okay so I'm gonna put this on the edge here and just a little bit over here just to hold this down where I'm gonna sew so let's see how that goes yeah this is that this does have a front and back a couple threads here let's get those off okay here's another little thread or a piece of fuzz or something okay so I want this I think I want this right about there okay I can pick it up again if I need to and then this is going to go right here so we have a piece of this on the front and the back and there's more going on here too it's, it's going to be my flea market a combo here of all kinds of fabrics <laughs> so uh, let's see let me pick it up and put a little bit here of Fabri-Tac to tack this down good old Fabri-Tac tacking down the fabrics okay this is going to go over pretty far so I'm going to put my glue over pretty far you don't need a lot well, I maybe need a lot. I do need it to be flat down, don't I? I need it because I'm not going to put sewing all over it. So, let me see how did this do. This is nicely, this is nicely glued down. And I'm going to put, I'm probably going to do a little bit on the edge right there. But, um, yeah, I do need this to be held down with the glue as far as keeping everything flat and then I'm going to be doing the edges uh, with the sewing so now this is going to go here okay right to the bottom right to the top okay I've got some threads and some little bit of Something to possibly turn off here. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I, I was a little worried about doing all this on video, but I'm just going to do the best I can here. Let's see. I don't like that sticking up like that right there. It wasn't doing that when I had it before I glued it. Let me pull this up. It doesn't look like it's even there. There's a little thread there too. I guess I'll just go ahead and cut that extra off. That's all I can do. Let me look at this side so I can see. See, there's a lot of extra right here. This white. Let's see what I'm cutting. I don't think I want to cut it over there. I think I want to cut it. Let me cut this side because I want to cut up to here, not over here. So I'm going to do that on this side so I can see. Where I want to stop, like right there. Okay, I got a thread here. All right. Now I think that's what I'm gonna. I've got more to put on here, but I'm gonna go sew. And let me let me put some glue right here first. I just don't know if I'm gonna sew in between here. I might run a little. Yeah, I might run run a straight stitch here straight stitch here maybe some zigzag around the edges straight stitch here zigzag zigzag and maybe a straight stitch down here 
Okay. <laughs> okay, but I still don't want any kind of ripple or anything here. So before I do that, let me get some more glue on here. Let me put it on here on the fabric that's I want to glue down and down in the little crevice there. Because this part seems to be all glued down, but this part isn't yet. glue to show either. Make sure it's all under there. Okay, now let me press that all down. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, yeah, we need a lot of glue under here. Yeah, I'm just kind of playing this by ear, figuring this out, because I, you know, if you watch my channel, this is not my normal style, <laughs> but it's a style I really wanted to try just using um, pieces of fabric like this of some kind on the front of a journal. So something different that I wanted to try. And so far so good, I like how it looks. I mean, you could do so many different patterns with you know little pieces of fabric on the front of a journal. Pretty much endless possibilities, right? <laughs> so. All right, now I think everything's glued down. Not even getting any glue on my cutting mat, I don't think. Okay, so everything feels pretty solid. That's gonna be sewn. That's gonna be sewn like I said. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm ready to sew. I'm gonna go sew before I actually run out of time here. And I would like to have time to finish the outside. Here's the inside, I can turn it over now since uh, <laughs> that's glued down. So it'll be, I'm going to have more on here. That's the back. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I'm done with the sewing. And uh, here is what I did. I didn't do what I said I was going to do, actually, because I when I went to sew, I just sewed around. I ended up sewing just around the edges. I realized, I, you know, and I knew it beforehand because I thought about it and... Um, if I wanted to sew, I don't want my sewing to show on this fabric here. So I didn't sew up and down the little pieces like I said I was going to. I just made sure they were all glued down flat and I sewed around the edges. Uh, you know, I did a little like, kind of like a zigzag stitch on the sides here and a straight stitch across the bottom and the top. So everything is nice and solid now. So next, my other pieces, here's what it looks like. Uh, front so far, inside, back. Okay, so the pieces I'm going to add are, and I'm gonna go add this, I think right here. It's the applique rose from that scarf, uh, or it was a, I think it was a tablecloth that I showed you my Thrifty Thursday yesterday. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put this little piece, this is from one of the other pieces that I showed you uh, yesterday in my Thrifty Thursday. So that piece is going to go right here. And then another rose from that tablecloth is going to go right here. So it'll be something like that. And so I've got one rose coming from this direction, one rose coming from this direction. And then this piece going across the middle, all the colors are going together. And just adds a nice, um, uh, you know, kind of overall focal point there over the whole kind of thing, of the whole cover. So I'm going to pause and glue that down so you don't have to watch me glue and shake in my glue and everything. And I'll come back and show you what I ended up with. Okay, I think that I am done for today. Uh, here are those pieces put onto the front cover, and a little bit of fuzz. <laughs> it's a fuzzy, fuzzy thing. But uh, yeah, here's the front, the two roses, and that little piece there. And I put, you know, I could have actually done this either way, either like this or like this. But these roses stood out, and even this piece stood out so nice with this. You know this pretty blue here and then these darker pieces just made really makes made these pop you know as far as in, i don't know if you can tell on the camera 
but in person that just really made it pop whereas over here it didn't pop as much it was pretty it was very pretty but the roses didn't pop it as much so I think we have a, fr a, a pretty front and a pretty back instead of this just being plain blue like I could have just left the fabric blue fabric on the back but I did not um, this is nice and glued down here flat I left this a little loose here so it doesn't really you know I don't think it really needed to uh, be glued down you know all the way like solid right down to the right here and I didn't think it really needed to be sewed down I could change my mind before this is all over with <laughs> but I kind of like it the sewing I did the sewing underneath here so I kind of like that um, that it's not going over these uh, this trim piece here and then here's the inside again with the fuzzy little kind of like chenille type uh, fabric and so uh, I I said on my thrifty Thursday that I would make up a couple of um, maybe a couple of little fabric bundles from the pieces I have left and I have a lot of left this is just a few pieces that I have here on my on my table I have more over here where I um, you know just very large pieces but I didn't I tried to use some of this and I didn't use any of these collars that I showed you all the stuff I showed you I'm not going to keep saying I showed you my thrifty Thursday because I showed them all in, all in there but um, yeah I tried to use these little collars I and I did not I tried to use this was from one of the dresses I tried to use some of this and I did not <laughs> I tried my darndest to use this little piece right here and I did not I did use a piece of this here and some of this just little cutoffs there and you know you saw this here this is what's left of the pillow cover that's all that's left these two pieces or three pieces here so those were like cutoffs of that and then uh, this right here let's see there's a little string there and this is a piece I cut off this is where I cut the little what looks like a little leaf there was three here and I cut that one off that's what this is from right here and this is like I don't know if there's a, yeah there's another there's another one of these too on a, that garment it came from here's a piece of that I couldn't it still had the pretty sequins on there so I thought it could be used somewhere Here's a piece of this trim that is left. This piece I used here and here. Uh, I don't know if I have any more of that. I think that was it. This was really beautiful and I tried to use this. I had this on there at first. Remember when I first came on the video today, I kept saying I was moving things around quite a bit, but it just made it so dark, even though I love these here. Um, I just, even though I did use, end up using dark, this was such a big piece and I didn't want to, I kind of didn't want to cut this up like I could have fussy cut around one of these, but I didn't really want to do that. I thought it would be better off leaving it as a whole, so I didn't use that. And this is just a piece of uh, something that I didn't use, that trim, the white trim. Here's another little piece I tried to use, <laughs> tried my darndest to use that and it didn't. And these little pieces here too. Just I, I kept piecing and piecing and piecing and taking things off and moving them around until I got something that I, uh, what I thought was best, you know what I mean? Cause I had another version I was getting ready to, you know, say this is it. And then I just completely took it apart because it was just didn't feel, didn't quite feel right. Like it wasn't just, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, what I was picturing in my head and uh, it didn't have enough pieces on it like I only had like a one solid piece on the front and then the spine and another solid piece on the back and it just wasn't right so this I got to use more pieces so that's what I wanted to uh, you know want to use quite a few pieces so anyway that is my cover for our first week of the June collab I don't know about pockets in here I have to think about that I may not put pockets because this is so thick already. I don't think I'm going to put pockets in here. Uh, yeah, I was worried about my sewing machine getting through here, but it went through just fine. But um, yeah, I probably won't, po won't, want, won't put pockets, but next week is our, uh, let's see, next week is create, create pages with pockets and tuck spots. So we'll take care of the pockets next week and we'll make sure our pages have plenty of pockets. So getting all little crumbs off here. But um, the... Uh, the thread crumbs but uh 
yeah, that was fun, something different. And so I hope if you, you know, you haven't joined in or you haven't told us and you still want to join in, if you can't, you know, do anything this week, feel free to join in next week. And uh, I'll see you all then. And don't forget to check out everyone. And thank you to all the participants for participating. I'll see you then. Happy crafting.